Hey, I'm Andrew Mansbach from Greenville, South Carolina, and with, I'm with my group SC Bricks, and this is my layout with my friend John Lamers. Um, he helped build all the trees, and we put the layout together. But this is called Pick a Brick City, so most of these buildings are based off of the Pick a Brick Wall, and. Uh, we just, for people real quick who maybe aren't familiar with the pick a brick wall, talk about exactly how that works. So it works, uh, there's various pieces that come in, like, you know, this piece is on the pick a brick wall. So I bought a whole cup, so you fill up a cup, you could stack the pieces, um, and I just sort of am inspired by whatever piece comes on the wall to build a different building. And this is in Lego stores throughout the world. So, so if somebody stops in a Lego store, I know a lot of people don't have one near them, but if, if you ever stop in a Lego store, then you'll see this big wall where you can pick off large quantities of different pieces. Right, exactly. And same thing with these like these bunny troopers I have over here. I take photos with my Lego too. So I just grabbed a bunch of those at the Lego store and um, had them chasing Admiral Akbar. You know, and I like to do different little scenes like I don't know if you guys ever drive by construction workers, but it always seems like there's a bunch of guys standing around. So I, I have these two Lego movie construction workers, um, you know, and Emmett and all the other guys just watching. And I like to put the little pop culture things in. So here's a toy store I did, and I built a little um, things for Raphael. And on the other side, there's Buzz and Woody in the displays, and I put the minifig versions of them, watching them. So it's fun to see the kids checking it out. Um, we have these big brick built trees, which are like, you know, super solid. Um, my friend John made, and we put in a dog park, and I thought I had a lot of the different dogs that they made, but then, you know, people keep telling me, oh, there's this other dog that came out, and so I'm gonna have to get some more of those. Um, my friend Michael gave me uh, Johnny Five last weekend, so I put him in the layout. Um, and then I, I wanted to do a fountain and use some of these flowers off the pick, pick a brick wall. So that, you know, power blast, I think it's from a Thor set. Um, and we have a soccer field and then that goes into a little uh, tree park with a statue, um, which was from, I think, a hidden side set. And then you can see over here, uh, there's the toy store. I call this one the uh, monochrome corner. I just wanted to build a corner building. And if it's not on the pick a brick wall, I'll, I'll buy bulk lots or things like that. And so, you know, strange pieces like that, I could get off that. Um, got a post office here. And then- I love the, is that like the, the bright coral or something like that it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> coral. Um, and then I also use some of the stickers that Lego put out in the extras pack. Uh, then I wanted to build a house with this roof tile. So I built the roof first and then built the rest of it down. Um, I just thought it would be cool. Then uh, there was like a three-in-one that had that burger on it. So that inspired me to build this, like a deli and um, you know a couple Mandalorians. And over here are Anna and Elsa's townhouses. So I got that snowflake piece from the Elsa figure and I was like okay how can I do this and I got a bunch of the blue brick from the wall and I built that and then I was like okay now her sister needs a house so then I built it built that and I don't know if people can notice but there's actually a treasure chest as the um, awning so I like to try to use pieces creatively if I can. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I love how you even themed it with the two characters and everything. Yeah, I put her lantern out there. I um, thought that was cool. And then the, um, the one next to it is, uh, I, I just called it like a teal townhouse. So it's a, it's a half base plate. But I built the stairs first on that because I wanted to use those arch pieces that I think they were in some creator VW or something. So I built that first and then moved up from there. Um, that next one, my friend John built, so he's loaned to me. And it looks like they're shutting us down. Uh, but the next one is a uh, telescope build, I guess. That was actually the first one I built off the pick a brick wall. I just got a bunch of those. I'd seen people do like bamboo and things like that. And so I just sort of started building and there's there it is. I think it looks like a museum or something. Yeah, with all the windows, the kind of the big windows and everything. Yeah, so maybe eventually I'll be able to get around to doing the interiors. Um, then there's a pink house, so the the new minifig with the flamingo in it. 
that one inspired me and then having pink on the wall so i was like all right let me let me build a house for her some people said it looks like dolores umbridge's house or you know barbie's house or something and then uh next to it is just an office building um so i i got some of the masonry brick from my friend um and just started building up and I, i've got um my wife actually set that up it's uh, just an animal party on the top I, you know, you get these animal suit figs. It's like, what do you do with them? I just thought it would be funny to throw together a scene with Costume that. Costume party on top. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you even got some lights inside there. Yeah, a couple lights in there. And there's actually the um, rocket ship little gift with purchase thing in there. Um, and then next to it is a purple building. So that's that building is entirely built out of one by two bricks. So it's very fragile because um, apparently one by four purple bricks are rare. Uh, but um, I think that looks like an arcade. So that we've been, we have our SC Bricks sign my friend John made on top. Um, and then there's John's bike shop over there. And I guess we uh, have a little uh, Jurassic Park scene over there. The guys from the Jurassic Park set and some polybag dinosaurs. And then, you know, I have speed champions throughout. So we figured we'd have a little street race that doesn't look like it's going to end so well with the police. Um, and then here's my police building. Same kind of thing where, like, I just had some pieces and, you know, I wanted to do the police sign and brick-built letters, sort of like had the post office. It was in the, um, I think the pet shop modular had that technique. And so that one has a whole interior on it. You know, throw the bat signal on there. The kids love that. Um, and then the next one is, I think, like a hotel. So it has the PAB on the top because it's the pick of brick city and Sonic's running on there, and I got Mr. Burns out front. Um, it's such a great color scheme on that building with that gold with the kind of dark green color. Yeah, thanks. Same, same thing there is like all those gold pieces are on the wall, and uh, somebody in my group actually mailed me those tiles to start it because they were on some other wall because uh, we're all obsessed with pick a break and, <laughs> and we'll let each other know whenever we get something in. Well, it's a great way, you know, for, for people to build their collection. If somebody out there is kind of looking to get large quantities of pieces, you can just buy a whole lot at once. Yeah, exactly. That's the best thing about it. And uh, unfortunately for my wallet, I work across the street from the Lego store. So <laughs> my collection has grown significantly since they've opened. But yeah, there's just little little scenes in there. You know, this is that Target set. I, I, try to incorporate you know little details and people have been enjoying it so is any of this based on any real life buildings or pretty much just all starting from scratch in your imagination it's all just made up buildings besides these two simpsons ones over here actually so there's the comic book store from the simpsons um the androids dungeon so i studied a lot of the episodes to try to make it like the messy interior and have some of the printed tiles and other random stuff from other sets that might look good in there and I printed out the sticker and um, I'll actually show you the, the next door one I haven't tiled it yet but there's a I guess a hairdresser it's called Jake's unisex hair palace and then next to that is the Krusty Burger so that's also based off of the Simpsons and it's I looked at a lot of pictures and even printed out a couple of screenshots from it um, for it but it's got a full interior with the kitchen and you know, all the Simpsons figures. And then I built the uh, snake car that Homer buys in one episode. And then I built Marge's car. And so the Simpsons house is what got me back into Lego as an adult. So that's what I first started building. And, then and it expands out to here. <laughs> it expands out to, you know, a whole city. But this is fantastic work. Now, I know you mentioned you're from South Carolina, and maybe there's some, some local fans in the South Carolina area who are watching this video. If they want to get more involved and start going to shows or more involved with other fans in their area, where can they check that out? It's uh, scbricks.com, or you can email us at southcarolinabricks at gmail.com. We're based in the upstate of South Carolina, but we have people throughout the state. So, yeah, check us out. Yeah. Good stuff. We'll keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much.